Hey guys, it's April and that usually means one thing. Your final exams are around the corner in about two months time. If you really want to ace your finals, and I know that you do, then you'll need to put together a great study plan. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. The first thing you need to do is create a study calendar. So take out your weekly planner or open up Google Calendar or whatever you use to manage your schedule. Now, go to the end of the school year and add the dates of each of your final exams. Then you'll be able to see all of the final exams that you've got in front of you. So for example, maybe you're setting up a three-week study plan for a particular class. Let's say the textbook you used for that class had nine chapters. Then set up your calendar so that you're in week one, you review the first three chapters, then in week two, you review the next three, and then in week three, you review the last three chapters. By using this approach, you'll be sure that you're covering all the material from throughout the year. Use this approach for each class and add the study time for each into your calendar. The second thing you'll need to do is create a study binder which you'll use to organize your studying materials. The binder should be divided up into sections, one for each class. And within each section, you should organize all the materials you have for that class. Things like notes, assignments, and tests from earlier in the year. Arrange each class in sequential order. So for each one, start with the materials from the beginning of the school year and end with the most recent ones. Okay, so now you've made your studying calendar and you've created your study binder. This means you're ready to start studying. The best way to study is to outline each chapter and prepare your own questions based on what you remember the teacher emphasizing and what you feel is most important. Some students like to use study aids like flashcards or even form study groups. Whatever aid you use, make sure it works for you. Just participating in an exercise doesn't necessarily guarantee you're getting the most out of your study time. Of course, you may need some help on topics you still aren't clear on. If that's the case, make sure to go to any extra help sessions that may be offered, or maybe talk to your teacher if you need more assistance in a particularly challenging subject. If you're taking any AP classes this year, then you'll be taking the AP exams at the same time as your regular final exams. But there's good news on this front. As long as you take the same study approach for your AP classes, then you should be well prepared for the AP exams as well. Many AP teachers schedule extra help classes a couple of times a week. You can also use AP exam websites and review books to help get ready. And if you're having trouble in a particular area, then you may want to look at finding a private tutor that can help you out. You should be studying for each AP test for about eight hours a week, so make sure to include that in your study calendar. Okay. That's a plan you can use to master your finals and any AP exams you may be taking this year. Remember, these exams can be pretty tough. You need to pace yourself, so start studying early so you're not in a last minute panic and don't have to pull any all-nighters cramming for an exam. Make sure to get enough sleep and try to stay as cool, calm, and collected as possible. And here's one more tip for you. Remember, all the previous tests that you organized so nicely in your study binder you'll be surprised at how many of those very same questions will be repeated in some form or another on your final exams. So now it's time to get started. Go ahead and create your study plan and your study binder for this year's final exams. Guys, you've got this. 